our research and also for our uh, pilot training programs, we've been having to go outside the city to find airspace where we can actually do hands-on training either for, for, for the research or for the, for the pilot training. So now having this space open up here, we can use this wonderful facility, use our yard space and now the airspace where we can now make it much more easier to get people trained in un unmanned systems. Obviously from the downturn of oil and gas, GIS has been a strength of Calgary. So through some of that, some of this, some of these businesses and some of this new technology and entrepreneurship has spurred uh, geospatial sciences, drone use, and the software that's related around that that's typically been used in GIS. But the fact is when you're trying to figure things out and you're doing research and development, you need to have access to be able to go and test your equipment, your reasoning, look at your software, how it's working. And so by offering that up in the city of Calgary, it allows our companies that are trying to develop and commercialize themselves to be able to be able to come up with some solid actual offerings and work on their research and development. That's huge for us. Companies that came out of the downturn that actually took their engineers, mathematicians, and a lot of the post-secondaries with students and transitioned into, I can apply this to another burgeoning technology. So that makes us, Calgary is more, energy will always be our backbone, but we are more than that. We are diversified. We are creating tons of new technology here, and we want to be known for that. So as we keep creating these test sites for different types of technology, this is where you need to be.